Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bassin' with Buddy with Tip Tuesday. Um, every Tuesday I want to come out with some sort of tip video, you know, that uh, corresponds with what I usually do and what works best with me and uh, share it with you guys. Um, so uh, this week, which is actually 1, 5, 5th, or I'm oh, sorry, not 15, it's 16 now, 2016, so Happy New Year to you guys. Um, it's winter time, the, the water is super cold, the weather is super uh, cold as well. And um, one of the things that um, I run into that is a, a little bit of a problem for me that keeps my, my mind and my focus off of fishing is usually my hands and my feet. I, us I usually can keep everything else pretty warm, my head, my ears, my mouth, you know, my whole face, uh, my upper body, my lower body. But the only things that usually get me a little bit distracted are my hands and my feet. And I know a lot of guys usually have the same problem. But um, there's a couple things that I, I usually do, and uh, the first thing is I usually wear um, several pairs of socks, and that, that always usually helps out. But then the thing that's been helping out the most are actually these hot hand toe warmer um, warmers, and uh, these things have been amazing. Um, they don't get too, too hot and they, you know, they keep that bottom portion of your foot and your toes really, really warm. And when your hands and feet are nice and warm and, you know, they're, they're not a burden on you when you're out there fishing, you, you got your focus, you know, on fishing instead of, you know, your feet about to fall off. Um, another thing is, like I said, is the hands. And, um, I actually, you know, throw right-handed, but I reel with my left hand. And um, so when I reel with my left hand, um, I try to have a glove. I actually got this glove by Storm. And um, it's a waterproof, uh, waterproof glove, wind resistant, and waterproof um, as well. And um, it's it's very light. It's it's not too too bulky. And when I put it on my hand, it actually you know kind of um, fits nice and snug to my hand, so it's not in the way. And um, you usually probably want to use a glove that is not too too bulky, so when you're spinning your you know, your crank arm or using your little knobs, you know it's not interfering and you know getting all caught up. So. You know, this, this glove is very, very um, good for me. Now, not this glove is, I don't think this glove is going to be the best for everybody, but you just need to figure out a glove that works best for you and keeps your hand warm. The, the best thing I can tell you now is that um, you don't necessarily need a waterproof glove, but a wind-resistant glove is going to be the best thing. Um, you know, when you're out there in the cold weather and, you know, you can, you can kind of deal with the cold weather but once that wind starts blowing and that wind chill gets gets real low that's that's what really gets you so uh this uh, a wind resistant glove is probably the best thing that you can possibly get um and another thing is is with these gloves you can actually get these these toe warmer value packs but they're they're actually the hand part uh portion of the the uh, hot hands and you can actually slide them inside your glove and put them on the the outer portion of your hand so if i have my glove on you know, you slide that inside and have it on the, the, the top part of your hand. Um, the other um, part is, you know, the, the hand that you hold the reel with. And uh, I usually like to have a glove that has, you know, that open thumb because anytime I put a glove on that um, has the, the entire thumb covered up, when I go out there to throw the spool, I can't really judge the, the braking system with my thumb, so it kind of gets annoying. But uh, I have this... Uh, you know this sticky bandit glove right here it kind of looks like that that one glove from home alone but it's 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 actually not sticky but um it's a it's a hundred percent cotton so it's it's going to keep your hand pretty warm it's not a hundred percent wind resistant but uh like i said when uh when i put it on and i and i you know your hand's usually cuffed up so the wind's hitting the back of your hand it's not really covering i mean hitting your your fingers um too too bad but i always like that open thumb so i can feel the the spool when i'm casting but um i feel uh found, uh, found out that you know using this um 100 cotton glove and um you know with this open thumb helps out tremendously um also i also will slip a, a hot hands warm packet inside here as well as um you know casting throughout the day now the glove is kind of um big so if you get a, a tighter glove it's probably going to fit in there a lot more snug for you but um for the tip uh today is you know keep your hands and feet nice and warm so it keeps you concentrated on what you're doing out there while you're fishing see you next time <laughs>